Linda, first of all, congratulations on your pregnancy and overcoming your infertility journey. We are so happy for you. How are you feeling? Thank you. You know, I've actually been pretty good. I think my worst uh, issues is some back pain, uh, but you know, being in the Caribbean has, has definitely helped with that. <laughs> Yeah, the Caribbean fixes a lot of stuff. So you're on vacation right now. Uh, let's talk about how you got cushy and comfy in your seat on the plane. Yeah, so I tested out a few items, um, like this airplane footrest. So it's super compact, you just carry it on with you, and then you hang it off of the seat tray in front of you. Uh, you put your feet up, and then it basically acts like a recliner. So it takes pressure off your back, off your knees, uh, it improves blood flow and circulation, um, and, it, and it feels really good, because you don't want to be sitting there with your legs kind of stuck the whole time. Um, and the other thing I tried is this really cool self-inflating portable travel cushion. Um, so this one's pretty thin. There are bulkier, there are more padded options. So you've got lots of options to choose from to, to carry on with you. Um, and that layer between yourself and the seat makes such a huge difference. Again, in making sure that you're not too stiff, you're not too sore while you're sitting there. So I got both of these items off of Amazon. I just love how compact they are because you don't want to be bringing a lot of bulk with you. And speaking of that, what should we be looking to wear while we travel? Yeah, so same thing, don't want a lot of bulk. I usually go for some uh, airy, flowy items and some comfortable shoes, uh, but there's products you can get to help with the comfort as well, like NYX's leak-proof underwear. So Tracy, I am not embarrassed to say that my pelvic muscles are not the same since I got pregnant, and maybe there's more leaks than I would like, but uh, that's where the underwear comes in. So these are great. They have different absorbency levels, light, medium, super, uh, and they come in different underwear styles. So you've You've got kind of high-waisted short, you can do bikini, thongs, uh, they're anti-odor, they're easy to wash, they're quick dry. You don't even need to be pregnant to use them, maybe you sweat a bit more or you're on your period. These are really great options for that. It's not meant to be a diaper, <laughs> but, uh, but it does save you a little bit of stress, especially when you're traveling. And then the other thing that I like to wear are compression socks. So lots of uh, people who are pregnant, they swell up, especially in the legs and the feet. These compression socks are just an easy solution to hug those areas um, and then alleviates that pain. Again, gets that circulation flowing and really all of this kind of helps with discomfort uh, and easing that soreness. Well, listen, I'm 12 years postpartum and I want those big underwear, like the ones that look like a full wrestling suit. Oh, that looks good to me, Linda, yeah. yes. Okay, now if you're traveling pregnant and you already have um, like a pretty substantial belly, do you have anything uh, for anyone traveling while fully pregnant? Yeah, absolutely. So there are these items called belly bands, and what they do is basically they're breathable, uh, elasticated fabric that braces that belly. Um, and what it does, again, uh, eases up that back pain, eases up the pelvic soreness, uh, and just makes it really uh, easy for long days of travel when you're sitting or you're standing for longer periods of time. So um, really great for that extra support for you and baby. Very cool, I've never heard of that one. So let's talk about nausea. If we tend to get nauseous, what do you recommend we bring with us? Yeah, not just super common for uh, women throughout their pregnancies, all trimesters. Um, and so there's two options you can try. You can try some sort of low tech, but they're, uh, they're called anti-nausea bands or wristbands. Um, and you basically wear them on your wrist. They have these acupressure points or studs that is designed to be a natural drug-free way to keep the nausea away. Uh, so that's an option. You can get these preggy bands from Three Lollies or Lemon Drugs has one called C-Band. Um, and then if you, you know, if you want to actually uh, have something like a candy, uh, there's also these preggy pops, lollipops, drops, uh, also from free, Three Lollies. They've been doing it for 20 years. Um, they use natural uh, ingredients. They use oils, botanicals. Again, a drug-free option to keep the morning sickness and motion sickness away from you. Um, and they taste good. So there's flavors like tangerine or raspberry. Uh, so it's kind of like a little snack that also helps keep, you know, you from throwing up while you're on your trip. I think I remember those candies. Okay, before we let you get back to your vacation, any other general tips you got for us, Linda? 
Yeah, so I always book an aisle seat on a plane. It just makes it easier to get up, uh, walk around. That's important too. You don't want to sit for too long. So you want to make sure when that seatbelt sign uh, is not illuminated, you're walking back and forth. Um, I also, when I book, look to see where the nearest bathrooms are. So I try to book the seat that's closest to the bathrooms for some more frequent trips. Uh, you can let the attendant know beforehand that you are pregnant, even if you're not visibly pregnant. And they may let you board early uh, to get comfortable. And Tracy, wear a mask. I think planes, you know, were pretty gross even before the pandemic. And it's just <laughs> such a simple way to keep, you know, sick particles circulating in the cabin away from you and your baby. <laughs> Absolutely. Great tips. I remember being stuck on the middle seat on a flight and not with my husband when I was pregnant with Sydney and feeling nauseous. And then just being so Canadian, I didn't know if I could ask to get out of the seat to go barf. It was a bad situation. Yeah. I was like, oh, I don't want to disrupt anyone. So, Linda, thank you so much. Uh, great tips. And uh, we've got more for everyone else. Even if you're currently you're not on vacation, but you want to feel like you are, we've got great news. The perfect crossroad between foundation and bronzer, the new St. Tropez Instant Glow Body Bronzer provides both the body and the face with an instant bronze and perfect skin coverage. Smudge proof, easy to apply. It's perfect for uh, glow on the go. And everyone in our audience today will take some home. Sun kissed. Thanks to St. Tropez. More City Line coming up after this short.